For this project, you're gonna need rhinestone chain. I have this in purple and clear. They come in all different colors. You can find them in um, online. You can find Swarovski. Those are the prettier ones. They shine a lot more. Or you can even find acrylic ones like these. I got these at Michael's. Um, they were clearancing them out though. They were only $1.99. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to find them there anymore. Um, and I'm not sure if you can find them at other craft stores. But for sure you can find them online. So they're just rhinestone chains. Then you're going to need a button or some kind of fastener for the ends. Um, you can use these like Pandora type beads with the big holes. You just have to make sure that the holes are big. Or you can use hex nuts like these. I got these at the hardware store. Um, they're really inexpensive and they come in, uh, you get a lot of them. So you can do that or you can use a button. Then you're also going to need some leather, leather cording. Um, this is Greek leather. I got these, this online. I know that the craft stores do sell them, but they don't have a wide variety of colors. Michael's has brown, silver, and black. Um, this is 1.8 millimeters. You can probably use 1.5 millimeters. I probably wouldn't go any lower. Um, and two millimeters will probably be fine too. And then you're going to need some cord. This is hemp. I'm using hemp. Um, you're probably going to want something thin. This isn't too thin. Uh, it doesn't have the measurement on here. It just says 10 pound hemp. So um, if you need to know the, the width, I would probably probably say this is about maybe 0.7 millimeters I mean it doesn't look like one millimeter it looks a little bit small so oh and a pair of scissors and if you want you can use a clipboard I like to use a clipboard because it's a little bit easier for me but you don't need it and also an optional item is glue if you glue your knot, it'll be a little bit more secure, but you don't need it if you don't have it or if you... Here's a bracelet I already made. It's using uh, red leather, red cord, and clear crystals. And then I used the hex nuts for the clasp. For the next one, I'm going to make a double wrap. This one just wraps around once. I'm gonna use blue leather. So you wanna cut a piece of leather that is 36 inches long, which is a yard, three feet. So that's what you're gonna start off with. You're gonna fold it in half, so that one end you have the loop and at the other end you have the two pieces. You're gonna need um, a piece of cord. Um, you can use contrasting colors or you can use colors that match, like this one, where I used red on red. Um, it's up to you what you want to do. Um, and then I cut a piece of crystal chain. Now the way that you measure this, the measurements that I just gave you for the double, double wrap are for a 7 inch wrist. So you're going to have to adjust it depending on what size um, bracelets you like to wear. And then for the rhinestone part, all I did was I wrapped it around my wrist twice, and then that's where I cut it. To get started, you're going to take your leather that's folded in half. You're going to measure the loop with whatever you're using to fasten your bracelet, so I'm using this large hold bead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit it through, make sure it can pass, and then that's where I'm going to start um, weaving my thread around. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your thread, your piece of thread that you cut, and then you're going to lay it upside down like this.
then you want that piece to be a little bit long not too long I mean if it's too long you can always cut it then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your thread and start wrapping it around and you want to make sure it's tight so you're gonna start up here and you're gonna start wrapping it around going down so going away from your loop now while you're wrapping it you want to make sure that piece of thread that you put going down is staying inside so you want to wrap around that piece of thread so you're going to wrap a couple times I wrapped about five and you want to make sure that your two pieces of leather are side by side so you can hold them with your fingers like that make sure that they stay side by side next you're going to take your piece of rhinestones or your chain, rhinestone chain and you're going to lay it on top of those two pieces of leather so you're just going to hold it tight and then with your other hand you're going to start tying the you're going to start winding the um, cord in between each crystal so if you can see each crystal has like a little space in between a little um, metal connector so that's where you're going to lay your thread now you want to make sure it's tight and this is when I use a clipboard or why I use a clipboard because it's easier to hold down so I'll show you how I clip it so after I wind the piece of cord around the leather a couple of times like this um, that's when I clip it onto my clipboard so I clip it right above where I started to wrap then I take my rhinestones then I take my rhinestones and I want the top rhinestone the first one to lay on top of those pieces of cord that I already wrapped like that and then you're going to place the thread in between each rhinestone so you're just going to keep wrapping around you want to make sure you're wrapping tightly and that your rhinestones stay on top of the two cords that you have sitting there side by side. If it makes it a little bit easier, you can also clip the other end of your bracelet, I mean, yes, of your bracelet, to the other end of the clipboard using um, another clip, like, like one of these clips, and it'll help keep it in place as you, uh, as you wrap it. So you're going to keep going until you reach the end. You should have cut enough cord to last you through the whole bracelet. So you're just going to continue doing that. Make sure you keep it tight. And um, you should be fine. Once you get to the end, after you wrap the whole bracelet, you're going to do the same thing you did in the beginning and you're going to wrap about five times. Make sure that you keep the cords you know, next to each other like this. Wrap about five times. Make sure it's tight. Then you're going to tie um, a knot. Now you can either do it like this. Probably, oh, I'm going to cut the extra string off first. Make it a little bit easier. Wrap it around and then put these through the hole.
pull it as tight as you can. And then you're going to slide your bead on. Like that. And then you're going to tie another knot on the top. So now my cord is too short. Well, I might be able to get it in there. But if your cord is too short like that, you can also just take one of the cords and tie it around the other, the other two. And then pull. Oops. Like that, and then you can cut that off. But um, I'm going to try to get them both around. So once you do all that, you're going to, um, if you have glue or if you want to put some glue on there to keep the knot from moving, you can put some um, leather glue or some bead string glue and uh, just let it dry. And then you can cut the extra leather once it's dried and you're done.